everyone, welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, being in taste test. Krug's here with me, so he's making me laugh. Yeah, ruining everything. Oliver's here too. <laughs> um, shout out to all my fellow spoonies. I don't remember where I was. <laughs> So today, um, oh, if any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure the bell so you are notified every single time I upload, which is every Monday and Thursday. All right, so today we are going to do probably what is going to maybe be our final time doing a TJ Maxx Home Goods Marshalls shop with me, just because last time I went to a Home Goods, I think it was like last week, I just popped into one a little bit more south of me, and there was really like a small, like half of an aisle of Halloween, and everything else was Christmas. So I don't know if what we're going to see today, and it makes me sad, there's like Christmas in September, I know that's a thing, but also like people went crazy when there was Halloween in July. Ah! So it's like, I don't know, but yeah, let's go ahead Head in, um, we're gonna do our first little round. We have a Home Goods and a TJ Maxx right here. Let's check those out. And then we also have another Home Goods and TJ Maxx we're gonna check out as well. Might also pop into Spirit, see if there's anything new for you guys. So let's go. Wish me luck we find something. So we go into Home Goods. Um, Again, they have it still all consolidated near the front of the store. So um, I kind of just went through and showed you a little bit of everything. I love this stack of cups, spiderweb cups. Very cute. Um, but yeah, everything's just, it's like cups, uh, different dishware, um, <laughs> which is cups. Um, and I loved that Mr. Skeleton, you know, J. the Libra fans, Mr. Skeleton cup right there is very cute. More like those vintage cups I saw previously. Snow globe. Um, this spooky guy, oh my gosh, he caught my eye like pretty instantly. I was like, look at him. And then I started looking at other stuff and then I came back to being like, no, wait, um, so let's actually look at him. I really enjoyed his spooky face. Spoiler, I did get him. I, I was just so enamored because he's just like creepy cute and I love it. I love it so much. And then I got distracted seeing something that I've been looking for for um, absolute months. Um, I'll show you eventually once I bring the camera back. But I was just like, Craig, look at these. And then I kind of forgot I was filming. So <laughs> um, I'll bring back to him in a second. But I saw this shelf. I wanted to show you all of these different witches. This green witch, Craig kind of liked her. He was like, it looks like she's playing guitar, but like left handed, but still guitar, you know. <laughs> so I thought she was fun. Um, our gnomes, again, more of our, our little witchy ladies, different stuff, but yeah, the, the green witch just kept bringing me back. I, I like, I like her style. <laughs> um, more towels, lots of just different random decor. I think there was just like all so much compacted that I got a little overwhelmed to see it all, even though it was sad that that's all that was left, but, um, this cat mug was really cute. Okay, but see the jack-o'-lantern on pedestal? You guys know I've been looking for those for months. So I did I did get them, finally. So excited. Um, and then there's, that's kind of all. The restart, you know, most everything else was very fall-oriented. And then there was so much Christmas. Like, well, maybe not so much, but more than I wanted to see. We saw the sign and we had to augment it to be more of our own rea reality because Craig was just like what he was like hi but like what so Santa please stop we are not ready for you <laughs> carry on for another couple months please <laughs> all right can't believe what we found at home guys <sighs> time for TJ Maxx <laughs> okay, so then we went into TJ Maxx. They had a very small amount. This witchy gal, very like vintage kind of witch in the jack o' lantern, like carriage was really cute. Um, some little gnomes. There was so little at this TJ Maxx. It was really, really sparse and it was, it was making me sad. Um, some redone, like, I don't know, Halloween bathroom stuff. If you're looking for those kind of things, apparently they're still out there. Um, and then it was lots of just random like tumblers, jack-o'-lanterns, 
that kind of thing. Some more like cups, um, so nothing super spectacularly special, but there's a little bit left. I really liked this oil slick skull. That was cute. Um, and then the black matte skull back behind it. I believe that was actually a canister, so that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, and then there's the jack-o'-lantern with the bull on its head. We saw a skull one like that, I think, a couple weeks ago. So those are a thing. I love this, like, I think your name is Ka Katrina. Katarina? I'm so sorry. I know I'm butchering that, but I love that um, little statue there. And then we had some more of our, like, succulents jack lantern and that was that was basically it for uh tj maxx that's sad oh my goodness you guys i found the jack o lanterns with the witch hat on the little pedestal you know i've been looking for these for like two months and i'd given up i'd given up but we found them there's actually four of them we just only got two because I don't need four, but sweet baby Jesus. So, um, I hope you loved all that stuff. And also the spooky, not the spooky, like the creepy, like festival jack-o'-lantern guy holding the little jack-o'-lantern lollipop. It was almost like a mix between like a creepy Sam and also Jack Skellington with the mouth. I don't know. I was super excited about that. So, um, and then TJ Maxx didn't have hardly anything. I will say Home Goods did have a good bit of Christmas, which was like, what? Anyway, we are warm and uh, we're, we, we got some Starbucks because ice brown sugar, oat milk shake and espresso is needed and it's a million degrees. So we're going to go to um, the other Home Goods, TJ Maxx, check it out. And uh, yeah, let's see what we find. All right. So we arrive and then I promptly decided I needed to do a photo shoot because it was a million degrees and I wanted to revel in the shade while it was there. Um, but we got in there. I loved these fancy like skeleton hand flutes. Craig really liked the decanter. I mean, we don't really drink liquor like that, but it was it was su super cute. It was $25, but it's like, this is like fancy goth and I, I am here for it. I loved it. And the light bulb skulls. Craig was like, ah, these skulls have an idea. <laughs> you'll you'll learn he has he has some jokes my friends <laughs> but yeah so i know people have been looking for those skulls they are a thing they are out there keep your eye out um this location actually had more than the other location so different mugs oh these little espresso cups um the ones with the little dancing skeletons i actually found um about a week or so ago and I got those for my new cappuccino maker, and I, I adore them so much, or my espresso maker, whatever you want to call it, but they're really cute. I had not seen any Halloween cups um, for espresso so far this year, so it was really fun to find those. Some little dancing skeleton cup, and then we get over in this... Um, the yellow jack lanterns were interesting, but we'll see some of this like kind of like folk art kind of creatures <laughs> little stuffed creatures is make me think of like little german dolls from back in the day my grandmother used to have some of this kind of stuff that was like christmasy but that's what this makes me think of very like folk art kind of thing so i have not seen anything like that this season it's a little creepy for me but i feel like if it's your style um then it's fun to find it because it's very different um, yeah, they're a little different mouse ones, witchy ones, um, the big witchy legs, trick or treat, this witch lady here, it's such a fun face, I really loved her smile, and it was just, I don't know, it made me smile, so <laughs> I loved it, um, uh, more of our little, little mousy mousies, and they had another pedestal, Jack Lantern pedestal at this location, so I was like, okay, well, obviously, they just took forever to get to our area or something, because, they're here. <laughs> um, some different canisters. I thought these were kind of fun with the little characters on top. I think it'd be really cute to like, I don't know, candy corn or honestly like cat or dog treats would be really cute in those kind of canisters. Um, Craig liked this little spider web bowl trio thing. I thought that was fun as well. I like the detailing on the inside of it. The pillows were, I don't know, nothing too different, stuff we've kind of seen before, especially the little bedazzly ones, which they're pretty, but I feel like they'd be so uncomfortable to lay on. 
Um, oh, and then these little like ghosts. I don't know if these would be for outdoor or not, but it makes me think of stuff you would find at like the fair or like not a fair, like antique kind of store. Antique fair? I don't know. <laughs> I like them. Whole table of like candy and snacks, but I loved the tins, like the design on these tins. It makes me think of like old school like tea tins and that was fun. Um, some more, you know, pillows, that kind of stuff table runners then we went up to um i think this was up in tj maxx and they had a couple different halloween wreaths one was completely covered in glitter actually i think they were both covered in glitter and then we saw all the kids stuff and while craig and i don't have kids i do have a nephew who i um uh, am spoiling <laughs> we were even like looking at all the different pajamas and i was like oh my goodness if they lived even closer to us um and i didn't have to mail everything i would legit spoil the mess out of that, that little boy. <laughs> I'd be buying a Halloween outfit for every night. Like, look at this skeleton onesie. I love it. Um, and then they have a different matte stuff we've seen before, the matte black items, um, and some not so matte, but little succulent said basic witch. I think that was kind of fun. The planter was fun, but I wish the bottom wasn't like light wood. I wish it was a dark wood. Um, and this other little succulent one said, I think it said boss witch, which <laughs> cute to be fun to put at your office or your desk, you know, that kind of thing. Um, what else did they have left? There wasn't a ton. Oh yeah. We did see that little pumpkin carriage again with our witch lady. I said Jacqueline last time. I don't know why I tend to mix those up for some reason. I'm sure you've noticed <gasps> this dog with the witch hat, you all, I, I grew up, I had um, a basset when I was younger, and so I love bassets and hounds, so I think I saw this like three times while you're in store, and every single time I pointed it out, <laughs> so you'll notice that. Oh, these eek jack-o'-lanterns, those are really cute. I actually got um, a couple of those last year, so you'll see them when I do my decorate with me in just a couple of weeks. I'm probably going to be filming it here in a couple of days, but for you guys, it'll be a couple of weeks. It'll be part of my vlog -o -ween little October whole situation. Look, see, I was like, you know, hey, Craig. And he's like, yes, Jenny, we just saw that. And I'm like, but it's still cute. <laughs> I love it so much. And our gnomes with tall hats. Disney stuff. Um, and then for the blankets, there was a couple different Peanuts designs. And then we will also end up seeing a, um, it's another like a Disney design with, I think kind of like a silhouette of Mickey Mouse head. Um, and then we tried to kind of open it up a little and see some of the other creatures, but you know, home guys, they like to staple the blankets with like 15 different little things. So you can't actually see it all. <laughs> so tried to show it to you all, but it was a little difficult. It looked like it was probably cute. <laughs> hey, Craig, you excited for spirit? I'm in the spirit. For oh my spirit. God. You're like standing like you were ready. Yes. I'm, I'm in the spirit for spirit. Yes. Yes, we, we heard that joke. We heard it. But you didn't <laughs> laugh, though. Mm. Okay, and <laughs> <laughs> let's go to spirit. <laughs> Told you my man's got jokes. <laughs> um, yeah, so we saw this Beetlejuice sign from afar. As soon as we walked in, we're like, oh my gosh. We've not seen that marquee in person before, and it absolutely lives up to the hype. Oh, chef's kiss. It is fabulous. So we continue to look at the rest of it um even while me being like hey the sign is cool <laughs> i loved these peel juice towels the set but i gotta say they're kind of they don't feel super absorbent so i feel like these are much more decorative than actually practical so keep in mind if you've had your eye on those they're cute but they would not work to actually soak up water <laughs> um I saw the Michael Jack Lantern. I was looking actually for the Sam Jack Lantern. It was there last time and we passed on it. Um, and then I was like, you know, let's go back and get it. And we went and it was not there. Um, I like the Michael one, but I'm just I'm much more of a Sam fan. Also, there was not a ton. There was so many empty shelves. Stuff we saw even last time was kind of gone. So um, there was a couple of different things. We didn't see this um, Nightmare Before Quis Christmas little banner before um but yeah even look i was like oh look there's only one oogie boogie snow globe left there was none with um shock lock and barrel so yeah 
I like the oogie boogie little thing. I was hoping it would glow in the dark, but we didn't think it did. As far as Hocus Pocus, they did get some of the dish towels in. And they had this one really pretty um, like wood sign. I did like that as well. But that was it. Um, for the Ouija section, the, some of the towels or blankets, a couple pillows, and then an actual Ouija board. Then we went and like looked at the actual like hanging decor. I loved this spooky man. What is this from? I feel like a noob. I feel like I should know what it is, but I don't know. It's just a spooky scarecrow. I really liked it. Those eyes, man. Very cool. And then of course all the little Sams. And um, then I was like, <laughs> spoiler, we we did get the sign, and Craig was like, let's. Uh, can I show it? Look look, we got it. <laughs> and then of course we did a, another little photo shoot with us in the human resources. Good times. <laughs> Ooh, everyone, sorry if uh, I'm a little sweaty. It is very warm and we have the AC on, so sorry if you can hear that too. <laughs> um, okay, so we went in TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, and there's a little bit of Halloween I showed you. There were some things that were um, I probably explained it in the voiceover, but they were, they look very, like, folk artsy. Like, the little mouse and the little witches that were kind of creepy looking, but very folk artsy. So, um, there's that. And then we went into Spirit, and there was no Sam on a jack-o'-lantern, but they did have the Michael with the jack-o'-lantern. And they have the Beetlejuice sign, which we have never seen in person. Craig saw it, and he was just like, oh my gosh, I kind of want that. And Craig is the person to say, like, no... We don't need that. <laughs> so when he says, I kind of want that, I'm like, absolutely you do. <laughs> she jumped on me and, and stole it. But um, it, it's just such an amazing piece. We've never seen the marquee in person. And, and our anniversary is tomorrow. So I was like, you know, anniversary gift, you know. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think that's where I'm going to wrap things off. I might be doing a Target haul after this or it may be a separate video. So either way, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, your favorite thing um, that you saw in this video. Anything you might still be actually hunting for. I know we're getting close to like, it's time to decorate. So um, yeah, just leave me a comment. I always love chatting with you all and hope you're doing wonderful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.